guys, what is up? NSO Rico back to you again. And today's episode is going to be on the on my um, NFL Conference Championship predictions. And I'll tell you who I think is going to win, okay? So, and go to the Super Bowl. And I will tell you my Super Bowl um, champion prediction. So, without any further ado, let's begin. So, on your left side of your screen, we have the Steelers versus the Patriots game. This one's going to be a great one, obviously. We got two teams who've been hot. Steelers have been um, completely shoving through the Patri- through the playoffs. Have just really been proving offensively and defensively that they can play. The defense has gotten much better. In my opinion, I still wouldn't really consider a top five defense for sure. I don't think it's that you know, has that high of quality. It is pretty clutch, but not super clutch. I don't think it has that kind of power, especially to stop Patriots completely. But comment what you think below about my statement right there. And tell me what you guys think about this game. So, I'm going to go straight up and go with the New England Patriots. Um, I like the Patriots because the Steelers, the Steelers are a hard fighter. Don't get me wrong. I love the Steelers. I love how hard, hard they fight. Their offense is on a roll. I mean, they're going to keep the pedal the whole entire game. Am I right? I mean, the Steelers just proved, though they didn't really score even a touchdown against Kansas City, they didn't still put up points. Well, not put up points, but though they proved they could keep Kansas City away from stopping the Steelers. So they were really on a roll in that game. The Steelers, you know, they came to Kansas City. They didn't have the best, best game, but, man, I tell you what, Bell ran for a lot. That dude just played all night long, and he played a great game. And that whole offense, all in all, played well. Defense all in all played well also. And shut down the Chiefs. So, with that said, why can't they beat the Patriots? Why are they not enough? Well, the Patriots are playing at home. That is a deadly combination. Few teams can beat the Patriots. If they healthy Tom Brady, the only team that did that, that this year was Seattle at their best. And Seattle played a good game and really picked them apart. But do I think the Steelers are enough in the postseason? And a lot of times when Patriots get this far, with, and they're not going against the number one defense, it is hard to beat them. Because Patriots, when they went against the Broncos last year in the AFC Championship, that was not at New England. New England has a prime on them. They play well. And I do think Patriots have, though they might not have more weapons offensively, they've got a man named Brown. Okay, and they've got a man named Godwin. And they've got a good, solid defense. And you know what? I think they're going to take this one. And I'm going to go with the Patriots in this game, 31-27. to 27. I like the Patriots. They've been playing good football. Steelers, um, I like how hard their defense is playing. It is impressive. It is strong. It is good. It is well. Is it enough to beat the Patriots? Sorry, probably not. I like the Steelers, but you're not going to get enough points to beat the Patriots. Moving on to your right side of your screen, we got Packers versus Falcons. So, to start this off, the Packers have been steamrolling teams. Eight games in a row. Bam, bam, bam. You look at the Packers. They've been fighting hard. So hard. But you look at the Falcons. Beating the Seattle Seahawks pretty badly. Um, taking them apart piece by piece. Pecking at them, so to say. <laughs> but the Falcons are doing really well. That offense is doing hot. I mean, they beat the Broncos this year with one of the best defenses. Beat Seattle once and just played well. I do like the Falcons. I think they got a lot of talent. They're going to keep this game super close. I'm not going to lie. I like the Falcons. How their defense fights hard. They got good pieces. They got good offense. Probably in my book for sure number one. But Matt Ryan, he's not he's not as good as Aaron Rodgers in my book. I think Aaron Rodgers is not that good. Aaron Rodgers is more clutch. He has more experience. And he's got a strong team. Aaron Rodgers is the truth. I think he is the best quarterback in the NFL at the moment. I think you could give him just a snake and you could throw it at him. Because Aaron Rodgers is just that bad. I do like Matt Ryan. I think he is going to be good this year. But Atlanta, they might be the joke this year. But I'm going to throw this one and it's going to be totally Aaron Rodgers this week. I like Aaron Rodgers. It could be a shootout and I will not be surprised. But the way that Green Bay is playing, the way they are playing, the way they've played the last eight games has been unstoppable. It has been like a moving train. Nothing is stopping them. 
So that's why I think it's really rare you guys hit this game, and I think you have more power and think about more things. You know, Atlanta, you're good. You got a lot of power. You, your offense is key, and overall, your offense might be better, but you don't got the better quarterback, and you probably don't got the better defense. Um, in general, I would say Packers probably have a better defense. They got a better O line, I would say. Definitely like passing. Um, pass block is really good. And they just come up every time they meet the Packers. You're on a roll, you're hot, and I think you're going to take this one. So, typically, Patriots, Packers, it's going to be a tight one. And I actually, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to predict this game in week two for you guys. Or maybe week three. Depends on how you do it. But I want to give you some kind of special picks. Because I do think the Packers, I do think the Patriots are going to win. So, I think it's going to be a good game. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, comment your opinion below and I'll tell you about it.